In the shadows of World War II, two superpowers set their sights upward. The USSR launched Sputnik in 1957, startling the world and igniting urgency. America answered with rapid investment, schools, missiles, and the creation of NASA. The race became not just technology, but ideology writ across the sky. Every launch, every broadcast became a measure of national resolve and prestige. 1958 to 1961 saw satellites, failed rockets, public celebrations, and secret setbacks. Yuri Gagarin orbited Earth in 1961, a Soviet triumph that stunned the West. President Kennedy replied with ambition, land a man on the moon within the decade. The United States poured resources into Apollo, testing engines, training crews, pushing limits. Televised launches transformed scientists into heroes and missions into national drama. The competition accelerated innovation, computers, materials, and navigation never seen before. The mid-1960s became a fever pitch of launches, failures, and near misses. Apollo 11 trained under intense pressure, every procedure rehearsed to exacting standards. On July 16, 1969, Saturn V thundered skyward, a crowd held its breath. Four days later, a small step made history as humanity stood on the moon. Neil Armstrong's words echoed globally, a moment of unity amid rivalry. The moon landing rewired expectations. Space was reachable. Conquest was possible. After 1969, the race cooled into cooperation, competition shifting into scientific collaboration. Soviet successes faded, but their early achievements forever changed aerospace engineering. Satellites transformed communication, weather forecasting, and warfare in the decades after. The Apollo era seeded technologies that power our modern world every day. Today, new players and private companies carry forward the dream of exploration. The space race taught us that ambition beyond Earth reshapes who we are.